Good day, welcome to my channel, before we proceed, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I drop a new video, I implore you to watch this video till the very end. Practically everyone has seen or heard of the satanic symbolism used by rap hip-hop artists worldwide. It's not just any kind of satanism that's said to have been adopted by these pop stars, it's Illuminati symbolism, from the infamous secret society talked about in many conspiracy circles. The top 10 hip-hop rap artist, allegedly linked to the Illuminati includes. Number 10. Lil Uzi Vert. Lil Uzi Vert sped up as Lucifer. He's holding a Lil Uzi vertical which means he's shooting at the sky trying to kill God. He has used Freemason symbols such as checkered floors, almost every rapper has you should look into it, he has used upside down crosses. He went on a rant talking about how all his fans are going to hell with him and that he sold his soul for them nobody took it serious though. He has thrown up the 666 symbol with his hands. Number 9. Angel Hayes. Angel Hayes tried to push the envelope into uncharted evil territory with the release of her music video, Working Girls, styled Working Girls by having a gang of Illuminati thugs kidnap a bunch of young children while she stands by watching in apparent delight and rapping about what a badass she is. The screen flashes a close-up of a tattoo on one of the perpetrator's arms which clearly shows it's an Illuminati all-seeing eye with snake wrapped around it. The song has no point other than to serve as a self-promotion platform for Hayes and she appears to simply stand by watching the children getting snatched as if she thinks it's cool, or is perhaps in cahoots with the kidnappers. Number 8. Eminem. All-seeing eye. Marshall Mathers, aka Slim Shady, aka Eminem, skyrocketed to superstar Dom beginning in 1999, becoming one of the most famous rappers of all time after getting signed to Dr. Dre's Aftermath Entertainment music label, a subsidiary of Interscope Records. It wasn't just being white that fueled his celebrity, but rather his extremely violent and vile lyrical content, including songs about doing drugs, raping women, doing a Columbine-style school shooting, and even killing his baby's mama. Instead of the mainstream media being repulsed and not giving him a national platform, Eminem instantly became one of their favorite friends and most famous celebrities in the world, loved largely by children who couldn't get enough of him. Countless girls even worshipped him, despite his misogynistic message, and they too loved to sing along to his six songs. Number 7. Tupac Shakur Shakur. Tupac Shakur who was shot and killed in a Las Vegas drive-by shooting in 1996 and considered one of the greatest rappers of all time, recorded an album shortly before his death titled The Don Caluminati, the seven-day theory which remains the topic of speculation among his fans who think the title was a reference to exposing the Illuminati. The Don, is a mafia term for a mafia boss or leader, which makes some of Tupac's fans think that he had learned about the Illuminati and titled his album This is a coded message meaning he was the leader of the killers of the Illuminati. Many people believe the Illuminati orchestrated his murder to silence him since in his music and interviews he often sent a positive and empowering message of love, peace, and encouraged education instead of the typical gangster rap garbage we are all too familiar with. Tupac was definitely using his music to raise awareness about important social issues like racism, drug abuse, violence, and the value of an education, but was he trying to expose the Illuminati too? Number 6. Rick Ross. One of the biggest phonies in the music industry is the pig-headed poser, Rick Ross, whose real name is Robert Wallace. This Shamu-looking fool took the stage name, Rick Ross, after the real Rick Ross, aka Freeway Ricky Ross, the infamous cocaine dealer from the 1980s whose suppliers were CIA assets involved with the Ear and Contra affair. Not only has the fake, Rick Ross posed as a drug dealer, but he's also posed as a street gangster, and he acts like he's a tough guy and a hardcore Illuminati gangster. Rick Ross took his posing to a whole new level when he released a song titled, Freemason, with lyrics bragging about having ancient wisdom more valuable than gold. The song caused Rick Ross to get called out face to face on camera by a Freemason who was pissed that he was falsely claiming to be associated with this ancient esoteric fraternity. Freemasonry has long been seen as an elite secret society that teaches its members the mysteries, or the ultimate secrets of life. Number 5. Azalea Banks. Another babbling brainless bisexual bimbo who jumped on the Illuminati bandwagon is female rapper Azalea Banks with her music video, Young Rapunzel, stylized Young Rapunzel. Banks, who sounds like a man, appears on screen with an owl flying out of a hole in her forehead, the owl, of course, a symbol of the Bohemian Grove and the same mascot adopted by rapper Drake, the feminine fool who dances like an epileptic having a seizure. 
Azalea Banks is shown wrapping in front of a huge pyramid with an all-seeing eye painted on the wall behind her. There's a scene of her riding a bull reminiscent of the Book of Revelation where the Whore of Babylon is described as riding a beast. Point one two zero. Then of course there are several scenes of Banks bashing a police officer over the head with a bottle in an attempt to look tough. This trendy piece of trash thinks she's a hardcore hoe, but she's simply another wanker in a growing list of obvious Illuminati wannabes. This singing serpent is spreading proverbial syphilis with her stupid songs, and is simply just another satanic skank who sold her soul to Satan hoping for fame and wealth, but in reality she has no talent, her delivery is disastrously dumb, and she brings nothing new to the artistic table. Number 4. Drake. Another mainstream rapper who's believed by some to be a closet gay or bisexualist as well as an Illuminati puppet is Drake. After getting signed by Lil Wayne's Young Money Entertainment, Drake, whose real name is Aubrey, a gay-sounding name, in my opinion, if I've ever heard one, adopted the symbol of an owl as his logo, an owl looking almost identical to the mascot of the Bohemian Grove. Drake wears t-shirts featuring the owl, he put it on his album cover, and even has a tattoo on his right shoulder of the mysterious image. The Bohemian Grove is a 2,700-acre, all-male elite retreat located in the vast redwood forest of Sonoma County, California about an hour north of San Francisco. Each July the Grove holds a two-week-long encampment where the most powerful men on the planet gather for a men's retreat where they can rub elbows with other political and industry elite and serves as an informal off-the-record consensus-building environment for the Illuminati. Number 3. Lil Wayne. One of the ugliest and dumbest demonic dirtbags in the music industry is Lil Wayne, ghetto speak for Lil Wayne, who was groomed by Cash Money Records founder Brian, Birdman, Williams, aka Baby. Aside from using obvious demonic imagery in his music videos, such as literally having devil horns coming out of his head and keeping women locked up in cages, Lil Wayne is also plagued by allegations that he is gay or bisexual, with some of his detractors calling him, Little Gay, instead of Little Wayne. Skull and Bones initiation involves some strange and alleged homosexual rituals, and many people believe certain circles within the bull involve similar kinds of rituals for the black men associated with them. Others believe that Lil Wayne and other rappers are practitioners of Enochian sex magic, a strange practice that involves bizarre sexual behaviors to achieve altered states of consciousness said to allow them to gain metaphysical power over the universe. Number 2. Kanye West. Another one of the biggest Illuminati wannabes is Kanye West, or Kanye Pest as he should be referred to, who burst onto the music scene in 2004. With his single, Jesus Walks, which got mainstream airplay giving the impression that Kanye was a good Christian boy who loved Jesus. Once in the spotlight though, Kane's image and message quickly took a turn for the worse, ultimately leading him to become one of the biggest promoters of Illuminati symbolism and materialism, not to mention developing a god complex so huge it's virtually unmatched in the entertainment industry. West's ego grew larger than his wallet as his career took off, and he became one of the highest profile rappers to start posing as if he had some connection to the Illuminati, wearing clothes with Baphomet symbols on them, nimedropping the Illuminati in a few songs, and even saying hey sold his soul to the devil. Point six five. Kanye West also isn't shy about his god complex, appearing on the cover of Rolling Stone in 2006 as Jesus, wearing a crown of thorns, and later releasing a track titled, I Am A God, on his Jesus album. Jesus being a perversion of the name Jesus. Number 1. Jay-Z. The rapper with the most Illuminati rumors surrounding him is perhaps Jay-Z, the stage name of Sean Carter, who is one of the most successful and wealthy rappers in history. Jay-Z incorporates blatant Illuminati hat-ips and symbolism into several of his songs and videos. Aside from wearing a clothes with an infamous occult credo on the front, Jay-Z's Rockaware clothing line actually decided to print some up themselves and sold a few different designs of Illuminati and Masonic t-shirt for a period of time which had an all-seeing eye on the chest with 13 rays of light coming out of it along with various other occult symbols. His very name, Jay-Z, means Jehovah, the Latin name for God in the Old Testament, and he often refers to himself as HOV, short for Jehovah, because he considers himself to be a god. Thank you for watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe, don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I drop a new video, till next time, bye.